The Oscars are just a few weeks away. There are about 9,000 members of the Academy who will vote to decide the winners. And one of its newest members is a filmmaker from Toronto. CTV's Andrea Case sat down with Francis Ann Solomon. Francis Ann Solomon has been making films for decades, and now her reputation as a director has put her in some very special company. The Canadian filmmaker was invited to be a member of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences last year. I seriously thought either it was a hoax or a mistake. I thought it was a hoax. And I talked to the people in my office and they were like, yeah, that's not real. I looked up Oscars, you know, 2019, and my name was on the list. <laughs> I was like, this is crazy. Yeah, that's how it happened. Solomon came back to Canada 20 years ago to start a production company and eventually an international film festival called Caribbean Tales. Her career began at the BBC in London. Over her 14-year tenure there, she went from an intern to a TV producer. You want... Um, to create content, but there, there's no structure to receive the content, and so you have to create those structures. So that's how that happened, yeah. There was a time, you know, not that long ago, I'm talking two years, two, three years, when, you know, it was completely acceptable for broadcasters and, and the powers that be to say, we don't have a market for your work, sorry. We don't do diversity, I've had people tell me that, you know, or just like, you know, you can't direct, you know. There's no way I could give you a job. You know, and if they're honest, it's because you're a woman, mm -hmm. and you're a woman of color. Now she will help decide some of the winners at the Oscars. Directing. I know. Isn't that fabulous? <laughs> it is. I'm so pleased about that because of all the different things that I do, you know, what I, what I am and what I want to be is recognize that as a, is as a director. So I was just like, that's amazing. That's like the head of my cat of my division. Mm -hmm. uh, Steven Spielberg. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations to those men. There was an outcry once again when the Oscars did not nominate many women or people of color. Solomon says the business is changing, but it's up to the people in it to make that change. What people vote for is about who they are and what assumptions they bring to the table, right? That is absolutely what it is. So you can't, since uh, Academy membership is a life time membership. You can't, uh, you, know, you know, take people out and exchange them. So they decided to add people. Mm -hmm. So they've been adding like almost a thousand people a year. This year, half the people that they added were women and a third were of color. She was one of only three female directors chosen to join the Academy last year. All of a sudden, you know, I'm part of a world that, um, that is busy thinking about the future of of this commercial machine, which is the Academy Awards, which defines the industry globally, you know. It's an interesting place to be. If they could invite somebody like me, if they could wade through all the people in the world and somehow invite somebody like me to come and be part of their club, mm -hmm. I figure anything is possible. It's very, it's an optimistic kind of thing to have done. Andrea Case, CTV News. And remember, you can watch the 92nd Academy Awards right here on CTV, including complete red carpet coverage. The Oscars will be handed out on Sunday, February 9th. Stay with us. More news after the break.